Hey there, radio enthusiasts. Welcome back to Holy Outdoor. Today, we're putting two budget-friendly yet feature-packed handheld transceivers head-to-head, the Quan Sheng UVK5 and its sibling, the UVK6. If you've been wondering which one offers the better bang for your buck, stick around. We're diving deep into their features, performance, and quirks to help you make an informed choice. And don't forget, you can check out the prices and find links to these radios in the description below. Let's kick things off with design and build quality. Starting with the UVK5, it sports a sturdy build with a relatively stiff stock antenna. The buttons are tactile and the radio feels solid in hand. However, you might find the antenna a bit too rigid, which can be a downside when you're on the move. On the flip side, the UVK6 brings a sleeker aesthetic to the table. It features a metal LCD surround, giving it a more premium look. One significant upgrade is the addition of a USB-C charging port on the side, a modern convenience that the UVK5 lacks. This means you can charge the UVK6 directly without relying solely on a desktop charger. Now here's where these radios really shine, or differ. Both models support open source firmware, but both have their nuances. The UVK5 benefits greatly from the Exumer firmware, which adds features like displaying battery life percentage and expanding menu options from 40 to 60. This firmware enhances its functionality significantly. The UVK6, however, takes customization to another level. With its custom firmware, you can even get a spectrum analyzer on the display a feature not available on the UVK5. The UVK6's firmware allows for more advanced features due to its slightly larger flash memory, although you still have to pick and choose which features to install because of memory limitations. Performance-wise, both radios hold their own, but there are notable differences. The UVK5 is exceptionally sensitive, rivaling even more expensive models like the Uniden bc 125 at it does a fantastic job filtering out unwanted signals, especially on the VHF band. However, it tends to be less sensitive on UHF frequencies, which might be a drawback if you're into UHF train telemetry or similar activities. The UVK6, on the other hand, seems to have a balanced sensitivity between VHF and UHF, but doesn't quite match the UVK5's range in challenging environments. The UVK-6 might struggle to hit distant repeaters that the UVK-5 can access without issues. So if range is a crucial factor for you, the UVK-5 might have the upper hand here. Battery life is another area where these two differ. The UVK-5 boasts an impressive 8-12 to 12 hours of usage, and its charger can fully juice up the battery in just a couple of hours. However, it lacks modern charging options. The UVK-6 features a 1600mAh battery and the convenience of USB-C charging directly on the radio. This means you can use your existing USB-C cables and power banks, a big plus when you're on the go. While both batteries perform well, the UVK-5 tends to have a slight edge in longevity between charges. When it comes to user interface, the UVK-6 pulls ahead. It features a clean, easily readable display and a more intuitive menu system. The keypad includes additional function buttons, making navigation and feature access smoother. The UVK-5, while functional, has a more cumbersome keypad programming experience. Adding or deleting channels from the scan list via the keypad can be a hassle. However, both radios are compatible with Chirp software for programming via PC. Just make sure you're using the latest version and a compatible programming cable, preferably a Bao Feng type cable. If you're interested in airband reception, here's where things get tricky. The UVK-5 struggles with AM airband signals out of the box. The audio is often garbled and distorted. Custom firmware can improve this, but it's not a perfect fix. The UVK-6 also faces similar issues with airband reception in its stock form. However, after applying the latest custom firmware and adjusting the discriminator function to AM, the reception quality improves noticeably, almost matching that of higher-end radios like the Kenwood TM732A. So if airband monitoring is important to you, the UVK-6 might be the better choice after some tweaks. Let's talk about antennas now. The UVK-5 comes with a fairly decent stock antenna, 
albeit a bit stiff. Some users have tried aftermarket antennas like the Nagoya NA771, but found that it didn't improve performance. In some cases, it made it worse. The UVK5 seems to work best with its stock antenna or a quality dual band antenna. The UVK6 also includes a stock antenna that's serviceable. However, its antenna connector is standard, so you have more flexibility in choosing aftermarket options. Just remember that longer extended range antennas can be unwieldy, despite offering better performance. Both radios are incredibly affordable, typically priced around $30 to $50. The UVK5 offers exceptional value, especially considering its performance rivals more expensive models in some aspects. If you're looking for a reliable radio without breaking the bank, it's a solid choice. The UVK6, while slightly more expensive, brings additional features like USB-C charging and a better user interface. If these modern conveniences appeal to you, the extra few dollars might be well worth it. An often overlooked aspect is community support. The UVK5 has a strong user base, and there's plenty of third-party firmware available, like the Exumer firmware, which is widely discussed and supported. The UVK6 is newer, but rapidly gaining a community, especially among those interested in hacking and customizing their radios. The custom firmware options are expanding, offering features like a spectrum analyzer and even digital transmission text messaging. So after all that, which radio comes out on top? If you're after raw performance, especially in challenging reception areas, the UVK5 edges ahead with its superior sensitivity and slightly better range. It's a no-frills workhorse that's hard to beat at its price point. However, if you value modern features like USB-C charging, a sleeker design, and a more intuitive user interface, the UVK6 is the way to go. Its ability to handle custom firmware with advanced features makes it a tinkerer's dream. Ultimately, both radios offer incredible value and have their own strengths and weaknesses. The UVK5 is your go-to for performance and sensitivity, while the UVK6 offers convenience and modern features. Thanks for joining me on this deep dive into the Quanshang UVK5 and UVK6. I hope this comparison helps you decide which radio suits your needs best.